Hello everybody. This has been a long time since I've made one of these videos. Uh, but this is going to be just pretty much my World of Warcraft characters and a little bit about them. Um, I've been doing this for almost 10 years now. My first World of Warcraft uh, like character showcase was in 2013 in the Missa Pandari expansion. I was, um, you know, 13 at that time. So um, I'm actually really enjoying Dragonflight so far. Um, I didn't do one for Shadowlands because I kind of skipped over the expansion. Like I played a little bit of like a little bit of it, and I did Torgas. I wasn't really a big fan of it. I thought it was gonna be a lot cooler. I do remember like kind of looking and being kind of a hype for it because I mean it was really cool seeing the Lich King again and kind of going from Battle for Azeroth because I did uh, play a lot of Battle for Azeroth. Um, my last character showcase was actually in Battle for Azeroth, and I got all the way up to like Mythic Raiding and things like that. But, let's go ahead and get, get into it. Our first realm here is going to be Wormrest Accord. This is the main server that I am playing on. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start from the top. Once it actually loads. There we go. So, this is the cur current character I've been playing on Dragonflight. This is my Paladin, Erangon. Uh, this is the kind of transmog I kind of uh, came up for him to be a little bit like kind of like black dragon flight slash kind of like void touched corrupted um, So I'm using some cataclysm pieces here some more lizard of drain or pieces I believe these are a set, but I don't think these are a set and this is definitely from uh, World of the drain or I'm pretty sure so is the helmet not sure where the cape is from um, and I believe this is from like the the epic edition for Shadowlands with the uh, little enchantment that I have on it So I think it looks pretty decent um, I'm pretty happy with it, but yeah, this is the guy that I've been kind of playing. I've actually been really enjoying Paladin this expansion um, I feel like I'm doing you know pretty decent damage especially with the new talent tree system if you guys didn't know um, if, you're, if you haven't been playing World of Warcraft lately, there is a lot of good changes This is honestly one of my favorite expansions since Legion and um, I've been really enjoying it so far like usually whenever I hit about round level cap I kind of already start to start leveling up other characters as you kind of saw in my battle for Azeroth I had so many level 120s which are what these level 50s are these be like a level 120 so they have quite a lot of game time going on to them anyway let's go ahead and go to my demon hunter and uh, this was my main for quite some time. It used to be my uh, this warrior, and then I jumped to demon hunter, and then I'm, now I'm kind of all my paladin. I'm gonna be getting my demon hunter up pretty soon, but I definitely want to make sure I'm not like I feel like falling behind on my paladin. Uh, there is a because there is just a lot of content to be doing. I mean, there's professions, the gear, there's the you know the renown, you know kind of grind, which I love a lot more compared to just world quests and things like that so that I feels like the you hit level 70 pretty early on so I've been feeling like there's so much more content to do especially since I didn't like I was accepting every single quest as I was questing to level 70 and I hit level 70 pretty I'm pretty sure in the Azure span and I only did like one dungeon that was to like get the uh, I think that was in the um, the waking shores that that dungeon um, but regardless, this is this was my main in Battle for Azeroth. He has the Warglaive Azanoth transmog appearance. Um, I stayed up. It was like the last month. It was the last day of the uh, Burning Crusade time walking. And if you didn't know, Burning Crusade time walking gives the ability to play the Black Temple raid. And um, so to to get these as a transmogable appearance, you actually have to one of course own the glaives. And then go through and defeat Illidan on the Time Walking Edition. And let me say, a lot of people that I, a lot of these pug groups that I was going with were struggling. So I was up until about four in the morning on the last like, or it was, I think that I think it resets at like what two a.m. Pacific time for me or something like that. And I was up super super late, like getting these war glaives because I looked on the calendar to see when the next one. It wasn't for like another like month and a half or two months. I'm like. God, I gotta get these. I gotta get these war glaives now, and uh, I'm really glad I did. I really wouldn't have wanted to do that again. That grind of going through the pug and whatnot, and they still just look ab absolutely just fucking awesome. I mean, just come on. There's such an iconic like weapon with the green glow. Always one of my favorites. But this is. Uh, I'm gonna probably go switch between him and my demon hunter, uh, or my paladin, my demon hunter. 
um, intermediately whenever I get my paladin kind of set up. I've been about level 70 for about like a week, a week or so, a week and a half now, so I've been really taking my time with that. Uh, so, I actually haven't touched this guy, this is Arizon, I've not touched him since uh, pre-patch, but uh, you know, this is my first kind of take on an evoker, I think it looks pretty cool. I love this kind of sword for him, because it kind of, you know, looks, you know, like wings or whatever, so it looks a little bit more dragon aspect. That's also kind of what I was going for in the um, Paladin set as well. It's kind of look more, a little bit more, I'm trying to make it, you know, expansion themed if I, as much as I can. But um, I'm not sure how much I'll play the Evoker. I'm not, he's really cool. I'll probably definitely level him to 70, but definitely not going to be one of my mains. Um, move on, moving on. Um, I leveled this dude up to get the Heritage, heritage Armor. Um, he was sitting at like level... Um, I know he's like, like at level 30 or something at the time, and then I really just grinded this dude out. That way I can get him up to 60 uh, whenever we had the um, anniversary boost as well as the uh, Waking Minds or whatever the 50% boost was uh, for experience. Like, man, I was, I was getting like a level and a half per dungeon. It was really, really insane. Um, I'm not sure, too sure for how much I'm gonna be playing him, but uh, you know he's definitely a cool guy to kind of like stick around and play. Um, I know there is a big thing coming up for like orcs and humans. I don't know if you guys saw it. I'll put it up here. Um, it pretty much shows the roadmap for Dragonflight, which I really, really enjoy. Um, it, it's gonna have a orc heritage armor and human, which is gonna be huge for my paladin. Um, so. That way I can get th that, and I'm thinking about leveling up a regular orc, and I'll, I'll explain that a little once I get a little bit more further down to get that heritage armor as well. So down here, this is actually what I used my Shadowlands boost on, I believe. Um, he was like level, I, I boosted him to like level 50. Uh, not Shadow, yeah, my Shadowlands boost, yeah, going into Shadowlands. So um, I just wanted a rogue, and I didn't really want a level one, and you know he was horde, so I just kind of, you know, there you go. Nothing really about him. He's been kind of stuck here. Not really any plans with him, to be honest. Um, this was my main. If you go back in my um, older videos, you'll see my char this character on Area 52. This is what I used the name. His name used to be Logan. And I used did a uh, realm change as well as a name change for him. This is my... He has always been max level every, hit, every single expansion since Warlords of Drain or whenever I, I kind of got my own account. Because that's whenever I started like actually being... Old enough to have my own account so this is my first ever character i leveled from one to max level and then back then it was wad so i leveled him one to 100 and i tanked with him with my old guild um did a lot of like fury arms i've played every single spectre warrior um uh, really enjoyed him a lot uh no plans for him for dragonflight but i'm definitely gonna have to get him to level 70 to pay homage to my to my OG dude. I've been kind of like slowly aging him as well. So like he's like kind of like wrinkles now. Um, since I've had him for quite some time. So he has this little in character kind of reason that he's like a little bit older. Um, this is my Death Knight. I uh, played him uh, quite a bit. I did a lot of heroic raiding with him during Battle for Azeroth. So he has some pretty decent gear with my guild. The guild was I was with at the time. Uh, no real plans for him. I definitely want to kind of get back into Death Knight and eventually get all these like little 50s up to level 70, because there's just something so like satisfying about having like a bunch of classes and a bunch of different uh, like you know races at like max level to kind of you know play with the transmogs and play with the different classes. Here's my mage. I also did heroic raiding with him during Battle for Azeroth. Um, during BFA, just Fire Mage with the Corruption was just insane. So that was my biggest reason of kind of going for a mage. I leveled this dude up real quick. Got him this like this. I, I love this Legion um, PVP gear set. It looks so cool. I had to have, I had to give it give it to him. But yeah, no other further um, plans for him. Same for this guy. This guy actually uh, used to be a Blood Elf. And I kind of regret race changing them now because I like I think it was like a few weeks after I race changed them, they came out with the heritage armor for Blood Elf. So I was like, ah, oh, damn, you know, it is what it is. But you know, it's still a cool dude. Um, I definitely want to you know get you know a hunter up to Dragonflight. 
This is my Cold Tyrion guy and my first kind of like hot max level druid. For some reason, I was just never able to get into druid, so I finally got this guy up there, and he was at, you know just to have a, you know a little bit of fun with the Cold Tyrions and their cool uh, druid forms because you know it looks wicker, it looks very like creepy looking. So, but the uh, the the Cold Tyrions themselves, I don't really love the look of, but I mean still still a cool thing to have. Here's another allied race that I leveled up just so I could get the uh, heritage armor. I mean, come on, like it, that was like a, whenever like there was content droughts, I would literally just level these guys up for heritage armor, and I mean I, I really don't regret it, even though I don't have any lightborn draenei um, that I can like stick this guy, this stick this armor on, and that's about it for him. Uh, scrolling down, here's like another shaman, just you know alts that I will try to eventually. Um, level maybe um, I'm also th these are also kind of just name reserves I really like these names um, down over here I was debating on what I want to use my boost on because I have my boost up here um, I was really debating between um, monk because I don't have a monk and I mean I've played monks before they, they're not horrible on their play style so I think I can definitely enjoy those I'm definitely more of a melee up close in person build um, or I was thinking about a shaman, like a Draenei shaman, because I didn't really want a dwarf to be honest. Or a Zandalari, which I might have to go with the Zandalari just for uh, the heritage armor. So, I mean, that's about it for this uh, kind of like realm, so we can kind of move on from here. So, on to Emerald Dream. Uh, this is where uh, my dad actually plays. Uh, Wow, so he was on this whenever this was a PvP realm. So I came on and leveled this like little hunter dude. He's survival, as you can see. Um, I have not touched a lot of these guys since Legion, and I was starting to plan to like actually, you know, these guys used to be like level 70, so like these guys were pretty high up there. Um, I'm really glad they squished everything. It definitely doesn't take as much time to level, and it doesn't like burn you out as much because you can get level 60 or so like within um you know about a 24 hour play time which is really not that bad at all probably <coughs> could definitely be shorter than that as well but you know those are those characters nothing really special about them uh, that's going to be pretty much for everything um from here on out i have a bunch of just like random alts that i've like leveled and just kind of like left so uh over to agrimar this is just another like random realm uh, this guy used to be a Tauren. I kind of wish I kept him a Tauren because, like, and then again, they came up with heritage armor. So, um, if you race change or boost anyone, you do not get the heritage armor. You have to level them from level one. Um, I made this dude because right before the level squish, they were like, you know, you should make your. Because now these guys start out at level 10. But if you made them before the level squish, they start at level 39, so that was kind of like my loophole, just keeping him, just in case if I ever want to come to this realm for whatever reason. There you go, I have like a fresh level 39 that's still in the starting area. Um, the only other dude that's any anything noteworthy is I did a video series whenever I was about 15 off for the Iron Man challenge, because um, in Legion they were taking away the ability to not choose a spec, and part of the Iron Man challenge at the time was you have to not, you can't choose a specialization. So I think this guy, I'm sure they bent the rules or made change some rules to like allow people to still play it. But um, you know, now with the new Dragonflight uh, talent system, this is definitely doable again. But um, I definitely, clearly, I didn't die. I just stopped playing altogether, to be honest. Uh, this is my old realm. This is a horde-dominated realm entirely. I also don't know why this is kind of like freezing up, but. So, as you can see, I have mostly um, Alliance. I used to have a bunch of characters on here. Um, I was leveling this dude up for um, Heritage Armor, so I just have to get him max or exalted with uh, Iron Forge, and I can get that. But this used to be my Paladin, my designated Paladin. Leveled him up whenever in Warlords of Draenor. Um, this is actually the first character I had on this um, account. He's been pretty much sitting at level 40. Uh, I got him to like level 41, but he was, uh, he's been sitting at like a level 100, um, you know, ever since Warlords of Draenor, and I just haven't picked him up since since I made my warrior. But then there's nothing really else uh, about these guys. That's another like um, heritage armor um, attempt, I guess. Um, 
So here's Storm Rage. There actually is a reason why I have some people on here. Um, my guild moved from Wormist Accord to Storm Rage, so I was attempting to actually move over here with them. So I actually got this guy all the way up uh, to level 50, and then um, I was going to be leveling this dude up as well. And as you can see, kind of how that went. Uh, but I was going to start doing some raiding over here with them, but um, I kind of fell out of, you know, not wanting to play Shadowlands, so that was kind of it. Here's some uh, more random characters that I decided to uh, make. I got a uh, Blood Elf. I made this dude during, during Lords, uh, Warlords of Draenor, so I got him up to 100, and he's just kind of sitting here. And then there's other random characters. Um, over here on Scenarius is just more random characters. Ooh, uh, I love how it's just freezing. I definitely think it's the recording software. Um, but nothing too special about these guys. Uh, just kind of... Um, characters that I use to play with my brothers and then one guy on Moon Guard I mean you better have someone on Moon Guard you know what I'm saying uh, no but this is actually um, a, the reason why I shouldn't even have anybody over here is because I leveled uh, in Warlords of Draenor I was always on Area 52 and being on a horde dominated server there was like nobody ever so I was trying to switch to Moon Guard because I mean this is a very heavy alliance populated server uh, so that was kind of like my uh, cry for help to try to, you know, play with more people on a MMORPG. But um, I'm pretty sure that is it. So th that is my kind of World of Warcraft character update. Um, I'm definitely going to try to do one of these probably by the end of Dragonflight and kind of give updates on how these characters were doing. But since it's been about two years since I've made my last one, I fear figured I might as well give it another go and, you know, pay homage to the tradition of trying to you know update for my future self to look back on because man I, I love looking back on those old videos and just seeing one my high voice but just knowing the time period that it was in the background the you know how the main character selection screen looked you know it's all good for nostalgia but um, I appreciate everyone who's watching any uh, all the way up to this point um, I'm gonna try and yeah thank you all right bye